Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. Uh, I just watched Zombie Nightmare on Amazon Prime Video. And I'm going to talk about it. So, the movie starts out with a bunch of people playing baseball. There's a happy little family. And unfortunately, there's two people that kind of follow this girl out of the game to target her to try to rape her. So, happy said little family is on their way home. And dad sees this injustice happening. And thankfully, he jumps in and saves this girl's life. Unfortunately, he gets shanked in the process and the two assailants run away, leaving, you know, the wife cradling his body and the kid just standing there dumbfounded, staring at his dad dying. Cut to the present, which is sometime in the 80s. I will get that information down below. It is presumably the kid who watched his dad die playing baseball with really beautiful hair, very buff, playing baseball, living his life, goes home forgets the groceries, has to go back out, and, okay, when he's out, he's in the corner shop deli kind of thing, prevents a robbery from occurring. Unfortunately, as he's leaving, he gets hit by a group of punk-ass kids, hit and run, they leave him there to die. Um, for some reason, the deli owner takes the body to his mom's house rather than taking him to a hospital to try to do anything or at least have the coroner. I don't quite understand this part at all, but it turns out that the girl that the dad saved in the beginning is now this voodoo priestess and mom takes her dead son to the voodoo priestess to hopefully resurrect him and exact some kind of revenge. This does happen and he's turned in, it's like that voodoo zombie. It's not necessarily like I want to eat your brains kind of zombie, which is cool. There's not really a lot of movies like that. I can think of maybe five. Um, so he does follow these teenagers, target them, is dressed like a baseball player and does dispatch them in some interesting ways. But of course there is a twist to the story, which I will leave out as this is spoiler free. My likes. I liked that it wasn't a traditional eat your brain kind of zombie. Like I said, I feel like that doesn't get enough play, especially now. This was from the eighties, but now I don't feel like there's really anything like that around and I feel like they should get on that rather than trying to rekindle nostalgia with all of our favorites from the 80s and 90s so please um I liked the way that the baddies were dispatched I thought that was interesting especially since he's a zombie and a baseball player I'll leave it there so my dislikes this seems to be a common theme with a lot of 80s horror movies that it's shot when it's shot in the dark it's very dark it's very murky looking again not fully sighted but still kind of hard to see and i felt like that took me out of it a bit um i'm not sure what this was rated i'll put that down below as well but the on-screen kills really did lack luster so i feel like maybe it was a pg-13 kind of movie Although there, there's like a lot of sexual stuff in it for it to be PG-13 if this is true. But maybe that was the give and take for the ratings. Who knows? Um, and the, the second kill isn't even on screen. There's a bunch of blood, but there's really, they, they didn't really show anything. So I was a little disappointed with that. Um... It ended kind of strangely as well. That threw me off. Oh, I'll add a like in here. Uh, the movie did open with uh, a Motorhead song and then Adam West's name popped up right away and I was like, okay, I'm in. So, I mean, maybe those likes and dislikes kind of balance themselves out. Who knows? I mean, they did for me. I give this probably like a 2.5 out of 5. I thought that maybe given a higher budget, the gore could have been a lot better. They could have showed a lot more, but I did appreciate what the movie was trying to do. And I liked that it had the voodoo thing to it. The voodoo zombie is a very cool zombie. Um, 
like I said, I watched this on Amazon Prime Video. I will have The Groom put down below if you can find it any other streaming platforms or if you can find it in physical copy. I think this was around the time of the 80s where they were just like trying to put as much content out as possible on VHS and they were just so lucky to have a bunch of bands that are really well known to be on the soundtrack and also to pay Mr. West his uh, salary there. But I think it's definitely worth checking it out. It's an interesting movie. If you like 80s cheesy horror, this is going to be something you'll enjoy. Um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Also, like the video if you did. Leave a comment down below. Have you seen this movie? I hadn't even heard about this movie till it popped up after I watched something else on Amazon Prime. What's your favorite cheesy 80s movie? What's your favorite voodoo zombie movie? Let me know down below. Also, hit the bell for all notifications of my further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. And uh, don't have any zombie nightmares tonight.